All right, so we're going to get into what I would dare say is the rarest of all of these, and that's polygenandry. I'm probably mispronouncing that word, as I always do. But anyway, this is a group of males and a group of females together. You know, not one in a group. It's a group and a group, which we haven't really discussed. And prom it's not promiscuity because they, they mate and then they go on. So we're talking about a whole different type of situation here. Again, very, very rare. Um, acorn woodpeckers are probably the best example of this because what happens in acorn woodpeckers, you see a group of females that are probably sisters and you see a group of males that are probably brothers. I don't know they have to be, but typically what you see. Now, when we say that, we say brothers and sisters, we don't mean to each other. We mean the, the boys are brothers, the girls are sisters, and they're entirely two different groups. Okay, It's kind of like the Brady Bunch to some extent, even though that was not... Uh, you know, romantic relationship type situation. You know, he had all the sons and she had all the daughters. Kind of like that. Like if they, if their children had all gotten married to one another, you know, then it would never have been a big issue because they weren't related in the first place. But there's no relation between the male and the female. Worst case scenario is you're raising your nephews and your nieces if you're not raising your own offspring. So their territory is the acorn tree. That's why they're called the acorn woodpeckers. And they often are, you're going to see a lot of holes in these types of trees with these um, and they plant these acorns in the trees now I think some people believe that they, they go back and get these acorns but apparently the acorns actually have these weevils that grow in them and that's what the woodpeckers eat off of them so it's almost like they're farming like they're planting um, food they're planting seeds that are going to grow their food except their food's not the acorn it's not the tree it's a weevil that tries to eat the acorns um, from what I understand of this, I didn't go a whole lot into their diet because that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about how they mate and how they uh, reproduce. Not extremely competitive in this type of thing. They actually work together very, very well, but the females have been known to throw out eggs and lay her own nest in a polygyandry polygy society here at a crow's con out in my yard. Uh, the maintenance systems can change. Uh, a lot of factors can cause maintenance systems to change at the last point. And this is just kind of overview it all because I'm fixing to end this section. I'm going to put a couple more videos in the playlist. But So food sources, type, quality, quantity, all those things, territory sizes can change. All these things can change a maintenance system. Remember, maintenance systems are not hard and fast systems. They're recommendations. Based under these guidelines, this seems to be what's what's ideal and what will happen. Environment can determine maintenance systems. The Dunnock bird we talked about earlier in the previous section, I believe, um, they, their maintenance system can actually change literally overnight. And one of the videos here that I'm going to get you to do, it says things you need to know about the Dunnock, they actually do talk about it around the one minute mark, just after one minute they talk about it. So if you want to fast forward to that, you can. It's not a long video. And then over here on the left, uh, they're talking about the acorn woodpecker. And some people call the acorn woodpecker like a clown bird. They say it looks kind of like a clown. Um, and maybe it's the call as well. It sounds almost like a laugh to some extent, I would dare say. But it's very interesting to watch these birds. I don't know that I am familiar with an acorn woodpecker. So um, I don't know that I've ever seen any around here. We tend to have like downy-headed woodpeckers. And they definitely do not put the holes in the trees that these acorn woodpeckers do. But anyway... I'll see you in the next section and uh, go watch these videos because they're here for a reason.